Hey guys, welcome to Blaney Law. I'm so excited to teach you how to sew this two keyhole neckline of this gun. So I'll be drafting the gun pattern in this video. In our next video, I'll be teaching you how to sew this gun. Please stay to the end of this video. If you are visiting my channel for the very first time, please go and click on the subscribe button. If you have been watching my video, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So I'll be using this fabric for this tutorial. It's a crepe fabric. So I've drawn my line on my pattern paper. That's my bust point. That's my underbars. And the last one here is my waist line. So at the upper part, that's the shoulder line or the starting point uh, line. All right. So I'm just going to go to the shoulder line and mark at the neckline. I'm going to mark at the neckline, then the shoulder line also. The shoulder, sorry, the shoulder measurement also. Shoulder divided by two. I go ahead and I'll add half inches for sewing allowance. So the shoulder slope, I also added my shoulder slope. Then I'm going to slant it down to meet the neck line. So for the neck line, it is a round neck line. So go ahead and measure the depth of your neckline. So the depth of the neckline, I just took three as the depth, three and a half for the depth of the neckline. So I've drawn the round neck. So for the arm O, I'm just going to go ahead and take the arm O measurement. So after taking the arm O measurement, I'm going to uh, fold the tape into two to indicate the middle. So at the midpoint there, I will just go in by um half an inch i'll go in by half an inch so initially i'm supposed to connect the shoulder to the arm o measurement at first before indicating the midpoint so i will just do that now with my pen which i did so i'll connect the chest line which is the arm o measure um, line to meet the midpoint then the shoulder line as shown in the video so the next thing i'm going to do is the ball span which is the nipple to nipple measurement divided by two so i'll go ahead and mark it there at the boss point to meet the waistline so at the waistline there i'm going to go in by half inch half an inch on both sides so if you understand what i'm doing now i'm just trying to make that that there so go to the shoulder after uh, marking at your dart so mark the midpoint so you connect it to meet the dart point there at the boss point so i have done that so the next thing i'm going to do at the under boss measurement from the dart leg i'm just going to take from the dart leg not the middle uh, line not the midline not the nipple to nipple measurement we took initially the dart leg i'm just going to go in by quarter an inch quarter an inch so i'm going to use it to meet the uh, waist dart leg so i'll go ahead and do that so if your client is busty you can go ahead and do half an inch and meet the uh, waistline so from that point i'm just going to shape it to meet the bust point as shown in the video you can see just go ahead and do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the chest line. So from the chest line, I will go up by one and a half inch. First of all, you're going to measure from the shoulder to meet the chest line so that you know how, why, how long uh, the um, yoke is. So the yoke is just too long. So, so that my cleave, the cleavages will not show just go ahead and take two inches up or one and a half inches up so it just depends on you so at that point the that's a yoke that's the yoke of the dress so i'll just draw a straight line there that's yoke of the dress so at that midpoint there i'll go in half an inch on both sides half inch here half inch on the right half inch on the left now connect it to meet the boss point i did that off camera so i thought i was actually videoing on knowing my phone has stopped videoing so 
For this uh, yolk, I'll go at the midpoint one inch there. I'll go by one inch there. So I've marked it. From that one inch, I'm just going to measure four inch. I'll go ahead and measure four inch. So ensure that the four inch crosses over to meet the other part of the uh, boss here. So measure your four inch. Then go ahead and go ahead and uh, mark where you want, how wide you want or how long you want the keyhole to look like. So I went in by two and a half inch. So I will just go ahead and connect um, each leg to meet the uh, upper part of it. So I divided the four into two, which gave me the midpoint. You can see that's the midpoint. So I divided it into two, the four into two, then gave me the midpoint. So I decided to um, draw each point to meet that midpoint at the up. If you do not understand, you can go back to word, watch the video again to understand what I'm trying to say here. So this is, that is for th that. So at the boss point, I'll just go ahead and take the original boss point. If the boss point is 10, take the boss point. Then this particular portion you cut at, you are going to take it from it. And if it's half an inch, we we'll add it to the boss measurement. Then you go ahead and add your sewing allowance. So that is it. The boss measurement originally, then you add those uh, spaces that you're going to cut out then before your allowance. So also for the waist, applies to the waist to the waist measurement. Then the darts, you know you're going to cut that dart out. So you going to add it to the measurement also if it's two inch you add it to the two in to the measurement you took initially then you're sewing allowance then you can go ahead and connect the waistline to meet the first line which i i have done i have done that now you can see how it is so i've cut i went ahead to cut it out so the next thing we're going to do now is to cut the bottom part of it that is the skirt part of the gown so i went ahead to draft the the hip line that's the hip line sorry the line i'm pointing that's the original hip line i made a mistake so this first line here that's the waistline there will be no dart in the skirt part of the gown so go ahead and take the waist measurement then add the uh, sewing allowances to it. Like I told you, I don't want to add. There's no dart for the skirt part of this gown. So for that, I'll go ahead and do that quickly. So you, after marking the waistline, add your um, sewing allowance, then go to the hip line, Original hip circumference divided by four or so. Then add your sewing allowance. Then go ahead and connect the hip line to meet the waistline measurement. So after doing that, from the waistline, you can go ahead and measure four inches down. Four inches down. Four inches down. Okay, initially from my from the waist to meet the uh, hip measurement was nine inches. So get it right. So I went ahead to measure four inches there. So go ahead and slant it to meet the hip line at that midpoint there. So you can see how it is at this midpoint here. So I'll go ahead and cut out this shape. Uh, so that's the place that is relevant. The other part is not, we don't really need it. Okay, you can see I've cut it out and you can see the part I cut out. So go ahead and do yours. So you can see the shape is already coming really out. So at the yoke, I'm going to cut out that triangular shape off. So I've used the pattern to cut on the fabric. This one, I have to cut four. 
this is two and that is two that is i cut double that is the main fabric then i use the main fabric to cut as lining for the yoke and the bust part of the dress so we want to use this pattern now to cut on the back you can cut at the back, draft your back pattern differently anyway so to save cost i just went ahead to tape in the the side bust to meet the front part of the bust that we just drafted so ensure that it don't lap at the waistline then also connect the yoke at the up using a cell tape so I went ahead to use pin because I couldn't find cell tape for the moment. So I left the zipper allowance. You can see the zipper allowance. That's why I touched. So I have range it. So I'll go ahead and cut it. You can see how it is. Go ahead and cut it, adding your seam, your sewing allowance. You can see how it looks. So this is the skirt part of it. So I've, I went ahead to take the front uh, pattern and placed it on this also, leaving the zipper allowance. You can see I left zipper allowance there also. So I'm notching the zipper allowance. So when I'm joining it, I will know that that's where the zipper ought to be. So this is it. I added my sewing allowances to it also. So that's for the back bodies. You can see how easy it is. So you can see how it is. And it's really, really, really coming. Out. so on the next tutorial i'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful gown so please uh, subscribe to my channel please stick to my channel oh, subscribe i want to say thank you for sticking by so i'll be posting the video on how to sew it in our next uh, uh, video so please stay tuned to my channel and click on subscribe button and click also on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever a video is being posted on my channel see you next bye